<laughs> tell you guys, and I'm really excited to spill the tea on how I lost my virginity. So let's just get right into this. So I lost my virginity to a guy I met on Tinder. I'll let that sink in. But before that, if you are one of my parents or one of my brothers, I'm kindly asking you to leave. Let's give you a minute. Okay, now, so yes, I lost my virginity to a guy I met on Tinder, but it was not like a one night stand type thing. It was very heartbreaking <laughs> to say the least. So I'm not gonna reveal the name of this guy. I'm just gonna refer to him as, what name should I refer to him as? John, his name is John. So, I apologize to any Johns out there. First, can we discuss how amazing this shirt is? I love it. So, this guy I met on Tinder, and I thought he was cute and sweet, and I met up with him. Um, I was at college. I met up with him at his frat house with a couple of my friends, never go alone, and it was right before one of his parties, and we were pre-gaming. I liked him. We got to know each other. We ended up making out that night. No big deal. I wouldn't do anything with him. But we hung out a couple more times. I still wouldn't do anything with him because that's just how I am. And we got to talking more. I keep looking over here because I have a little list just so I don't forget. So he didn't treat me very well. He was always constantly trying to make me jealous and just not giving me, I don't want to say the attention I deserved, but just not giving me what I deserved. And so after about a month of talking, one day I just was like, no, I'm done. Like, I'm sick of the way you treat me. I don't deserve to be treated like this. I'm sick of this friendship, whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm done. So he actually came over to my dorm and we had a long talk. And in that talk, I revealed to him something I thought was a secret, and that was that I was a virgin. And I was 19, which was actually pretty late for my friend group. But so I revealed to him that I was a virgin, and he was like, oh, I know. I could tell. And I'm like, how? Just because I wouldn't have sex with you? Yup. Okay. Anyway, so I'm like, then why would you still, like, try? And he's like, oh, I guess it's just like wanting something you can't have. And I'm like, all right. So we kind of started, we like had a big, dis it was a very like serious, like hour long discussion at like 2 a.m. And we were talking and we both said like, we couldn't see relationships with each other. He said it was because I was a freshman and he was a junior in college. Um, even though he was, we were both 19. Okay. Um, and I said, I could never be in a relationship with him because I could never trust him. But for some stupid reason, I still decided to continue the whatever relationship we had. <clears throat> and I really don't want to hear in the comments like, oh, you're so stupid, you should have left him sooner. Like, yeah, I know, I'm an idiot. Not new information. But, so... There would be times where I would go over to his room, his dorm, not his dorm, it was a frat house, but like, which should have been like red flag one. But, so I was there and he had the composite of a sorority, which is just like the pictures of everyone in a sorority. He had that behind his bed. And one day he told, he looked at it and he was like, oh, which one do you think is the prettiest? And I was like, what? And he was like, oh, I think it's, and he like started to point and I just took his hand and like dragged it towards me. I'm like, you're not going to do that. Okay, so that's enough background information. He was an asshole. One night, <clears throat> I was sleeping over at his house, which I, at his house, whatever, which I had done before and, and nothing happened. So I slept over and I made a very stupid decision and decided to have sex with him. Worst two minutes of my life. So, I actually usually, I always win for like, win, for telling like who has the worst loss of virginity story. So after two minutes, and that's pushing it, um, 
he like immediately got up and put the light on. And I was like really weirded. I was like, what? Like I like, covered myself because like I'm very self-conscious. Um, and he like was looking and he saw that the condom broke. So we had to go to CVS at like midnight and I had to take the morning after pill. And he like, he paid for it, but like he definitely made me feel guilty for paying for it. I still spent the night there. Just like, it was midnight, I wasn't gonna go home. And he like, we like didn't talk for a while. And, or like, okay, maybe like a week. And then I got my period and I texted him. I'm like, yo, I got my period. And he's like, oh lit, with like a bunch of teas. And that was the last time we talked for <clears throat> maybe a week and a half. And so I texted him cause I was pissed. I was like, you wondered why it took me so long to sleep with you. You don't talk to me anymore. And he just was like, oh, like we were so different, uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, and even though he said like one of the things he liked about me was that we were so similar. Um, we were so different. Like he was like half drunk when he texted me this. Like, I, you liked me too much. You replied to my Snapchats too quickly. And I felt like you were obsessed with me. I wanted to be like, bitch, I'm on my phone. Don't flatter yourself. Like I'm on my phone a lot. Deal with it. Like, if you don't like it, don't try and be with a teenage girl. Okay, I'm not saying all teenage girls are like that, but you know what I mean. So, I was crying for, like, weeks. Mainly because of the last thing he said, which I'm actually going to put right here. And let's, let's just read it, because I have it on my computer. Why didn't I prepare this? Allie's stupid. Okay, here we go. So this final text was, honestly, I was kind of on edge with you when we had sex and having to go get plan B and everything just sort of made me think about it much more. And like, why did I even do it with that, this girl? Did I, e why would I even put myself into that position to get that risk? And I decided I couldn't do it anymore. So being a young 19 year old girl, I'm 20 now, I don't know why I say young, but like that, that didn't break my heart, that shattered my heart. I just replied with, I cannot believe you just said that. Like, even if he was thinking that, why would he say that? That like, cause what I took from that was that like I wasn't worth it. And like, that shit hurted. So I was very upset for a long time, like, my roommates ended up getting really like annoyed with me because I was just constantly in my room crying. So fast forward, does anyone else screenshot Snapchats with photo booth on a Mac? I know I do. Okay, not all of them, just like, if it's something like this. So I lost my virginity on October 10th, 2017. Yeah, um, I'm really good with dates. Fun fact, I found out my mom lost hers on the same exact day, which is really weird. Obviously a different year, but yeah, so I put on my Snapchat story. So like in my dorm, our name tags were like on a, like it was like a pie chart and you could like move a magnet to like where you were, whether you were like at home studying, like, or like do not disturb or, so one of the options was in a galaxy far, far away. And whenever I would come home stoned, I would always move the magnet to that. And I put it on my story and I'm like, when I come home stoned. And so he, he replied to that. He's like, when aren't you high? And I just said, LOL. And then he invited me to a party. And basically he was like, I'm sorry we ended on such bad terms. And I hope you don't hate me as much as you do. I wanted to apologize. I said, whatever, like what's done is done. Like, I just didn't want to talk to him. Like, it's just a reminder of bad memories. And he's like, I hope we can talk again sometime and not have it weird and like, just not say anything. Anytime we walk by each other, I'm reading it behind my phone. That's why I keep looking. So basically, he was like, I just wanted to clear things up because I hate talking about important things over text. Like he wanted to meet with me or something. And I'm like, you fucked me up, plain and simple. Like I was not about to take what he was about to tell me. Like I didn't want to hear any bullshit that was going to come out of his mouth. So basically the rest of it is just apologizing and him telling me that like he was sorry, like he couldn't, like he, I kept getting mad at him for stupid things and that got him annoyed. Um, and then he like tried turning it on me, like by saying that I kept getting mad at him. 
so basically I ended it by saying because he was like I wanted to clear my conscience and tell you like things could have been differently um, like I think there was something that could have come out of it so I ended it by saying you really think something could have come out of it you told me at the beginning you couldn't date me because I'm a freshman and I told you I couldn't date you because I couldn't trust you whatever glad you got to clear your conscience and that was the end of it so moral of the story just kidding this is not really a moral